The story of Eastern Europe hominins has been clear, but not so in Western Europe, until now. For decades, the narrative of early human presence in Europe seemed to flow predominantly from east to west, with fossil discoveries showing the paths taken by our ancient ancestors. The eastern areas of the continent have sites like Dimanisi in Georgia, which have yielded crucial evidence of some of the earliest hominin migrations into Eurasia. These findings suggest a relatively early and perhaps more direct route into the eastern parts of Europe. However, the story of how and when our ancestors first set foot in Western Europe has been more complex and less defined. Fossil evidence from this region, particularly those dating back to the earliest periods of human presence on the continent, has been comparatively scarce and often fragmented. This has left many questions unanswered about the initial waves of migration into the westernmost parts of Europe. But this ambiguity is now being challenged by a new discovery in Spain, a find that is rewriting the timeline and introducing a new protagonist into the early human story of Western Europe. Africa is believed to be where the earliest members of the hominin family evolved from ape-like ancestors. Over millions of years, they developed traits like bipedalism, larger brains, and the ability to create and use tools. Among the key players in this story was the genus Homo, the group to which we modern humans belong. One of the most pivotal moments in human evolution was the first major dispersal out of Africa. This event, which began around 1.8 million years ago, saw our ancient relatives venturing beyond the African continent and into the wider world. The pioneering species believed to be at the forefront of this initial exodus was Homo erectus. This hominin was different from its predecessors. Homo erectus possessed a larger brain than earlier Homo species, a more human-like body plan adapted for long-distance walking, and a toolkit that included the Aculean hand axe, a tool used for a variety of tasks. The migration of Homo erectus was significant. They are thought to have followed various routes out of Africa, with one prominent pathway being the Levantine Corridor. This is a land bridge connecting Africa to Eurasia in the Middle East. From there, they spread eastward across Asia, with fossil evidence found in places like Demonisi in Georgia, dating back around 1.8 million years, Jokudian in China, the famous Peking Man fossils, and on the island of Java in Indonesia, the Trinil Man. These discoveries painted a picture of Homo erectus as a highly successful species that thrived in diverse environments across a vast geographical range. However, the idea of Homo erectus reaching the westernmost parts of Europe at such an early stage has been less clear. While evidence of early human presence in Europe existed, much of it pointed towards later arrivals. Particularly species like Homo antecessor, which was believed to be a relative of the ancestor of Neanderthals, and had been found in Spain with dates ranging from 1.2 million to 800,000 years ago. The prevailing understanding was that Homo antecessor represented one of the earliest significant hominin populations to establish themselves in Western Europe. The Iberian Peninsula has long been recognized as a crucial region for understanding early human history in Europe. The Atapuerca Mountains, in particular, have yielded significant fossil discoveries. The cave systems within these mountains, including sites like Grandolina and Cima de los Huesos, the Pit of Bones, have provided many hominin fossils spanning hundreds of thousands of years. It is in this area, in another cave site known as Cima del Elefante, or the Pit of the Elephant, that the latest discovery has been made. During an excavation at Cima del Elefante, a team of researchers made a new find. Fragments of the left side of a skull, including the maxilla, upper jaw, and part of the cheekbone. The bones belonged to a hominin, but which one precisely was unclear. They initially suggested that the bones belonged to Homo antecessor. The team later analyzed the fragments. The fossil fragments were affectionately nicknamed Pink, a reference to Pink Floyd's album Dark Side of the Moon, and were declared to represent the earliest human face of Western Europe. When the researchers reconstructed the likely appearance of the face, it presented a striking contrast to the facial structure of Homo antecessor, the previously considered earliest human species in Western Europe. Homo antecessor possessed a relatively flat and vertical face, somewhat similar to that of modern humans. However, the reconstructed face of pink exhibits a more robust and forward-projecting structure, a characteristic more reminiscent of our much older ancestor, Homo erectus. This difference in facial morphology suggests that pink does not belong to the species Homo antecessor, 
as initially might have been assumed based on the location of the find. Pink was dated to at least 1.4 million years ago based on its position within the cave's geological layers. This indicates that Homo erectus, or a very closely related species, was indeed the first hominin to reach Western Europe, predating Homo antecessor by hundreds of thousands of years. Due to some subtle anatomical features that don't perfectly align with the classic definition of Homo erectus, the research team has classified the fossil as Homo af erectus, where af is short for affinis, meaning similar to in Latin. This designation results from the strong resemblance to Homo erectus, while leaving room for the possibility of it being a slightly different, though closely related form. Further analysis of pink revealed that the individual was an adult, based on the wear patterns on the molars. However, due to the limited number of fossil fragments recovered, the team was unable to determine the sex of the individual. There is, however, hope that future paleoproteomic analysis of the tooth enamel, which can preserve proteins that indicate sex, might eventually provide this information. Beyond the hominin remains themselves. The Cima del Elefante site has also yielded other clues about the lives of these early Europeans. The researchers discovered simple stone tools made from locally available materials such as quartz, chert, and limestone. These tools provide evidence of the technological capabilities of these hominins. Furthermore, the discovery of animal bones at the site bearing clear-cut marks indicates that these early humans were actively butchering animals, likely for sustenance. The discovery of this facial fossil reshapes our understanding of how and when early humans spread into Europe. Previously, the dominant theory suggested that Europe was colonized in successive waves, with Homo antecessor arriving around 860,000 years ago. However, the presence of this much older fossil suggests that human populations were present far earlier than previously thought. Another question is where these early European hominins originated. Some researchers propose that they migrated from Africa through the Middle East, while others suggest an Eastern European refuge where populations survived cold periods before dispersing westward. The discovery opens new avenues for research into the interactions between different hominin groups, their survival strategies, and how they adapted to the harsh climates of Pleistocene Europe. As excavation continues, researchers hope to uncover more fossils that could provide additional insights into this population. Were they direct ancestors of later European hominins, or an isolated group that eventually disappeared? Did they interbreed with other human species, or were they replaced by later migrations? We may have the answers soon. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on more stories from the world of science, history, and archaeology. Until next time.